The suspect's house is now boarded up and people are allowed to go back in their homes. But take a look at some of the damage we are seeing. This is a bullet hole through a neighbor's front door. Many tell me they're still in disbelief, including one woman who had to be rescued by the SWAT team. Uh, he backed the SWAT truck all the way up to the walkway and he told me there's going to be a SWAT guy in front. I'm going to be in the middle. Hold on to the guy in the middle and the guy in the back was going to be back. He said you're going to hear gunshot. He said that's just us. Sky 4 with Action Cam captured this exclusive footage of the rescue. Cheryl Patterson talking to Pittsburgh's Action News 4 about the dramatic scene. I got in the SWAT truck. I was so nervous I couldn't even sit on the seat. He took me around the corner. I was so disoriented. I didn't know where I was at first and then I got around the corner and let me out. He Another neighbor on Broad Street, Leslie Thompson, walked us through her own evacuation. As they pulled me out, they showed me pretty much like kind of body over me, hovered over me um, and instructed me that um, if I needed to just be pushed down to the ground just to go because that would just be as a precaution because there were still bullets flying. At least two bullets went through her house, shattering this clock in her living room. Manor. I went in the basement. At one point I was in my pantry in the kitchen and just barricaded myself there just to try to shield myself, protect myself from all the bullets. Today, a feeling of gratitude. God watched over us. He did not let that bullet go through there. It could have went through, but God watched over us. And police were back here again today, spending hours in this neighborhood, talking with neighbors as well as going into the suspect's home.